All right, hi everybody. Last video of the night, and I already took Oh my god, fifteen already. Wow, people really don't like that show. Hey, it's hey, Mirnity. Well, maybe you like this show, Dusk Maiden of Amnesia. Now, this is late. Sorry, I apologize. Didn't get to it quick enough. Um, saw this episode last night, but didn't finish it. Interesting to tell you guys something about this show. Okay, the same people, they, 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 the company who does the animation for this show did part, not the whole, part of the animation for another. So actually, in regards to that, it's like, but in this show, they do the animation for the entire show, and so on and so forth. Um, pretty much what this show is about is, and I'm just looking at it right now, Psycho, sorry for, for butchering the name there, Psycho Private Academy, a school as complex as a labyrinth, after perpetual expansions, one day a middle school freshman, Tenchi, Teichi, Teichi, not Tenchi, not like Tenchi Muyo, Teichi Nia finds himself lost in the old school building, and in the room he happens to wander into, he encounters Yuko Kana, a girl with a mysterious aura around her. She calls herself the ghost of the old school building. To help Yuko, who can't remember her own past, Teichi and Yuko from the Paranormal Investigation Club and sent to unravel the mysteries behind the paranormal stories passed down at their school. There are only four characters in this show so far. I shit you not. That, 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 that's, that's the logistics of this. You have, obviously, Teichi, who, you know, in, in regards to it, he was forced <laughs> to join the club from Yuko. And he could see Yuko. He's a freshman in, in this middle school. He could see Yuko. Yuko. Um, and the other thing about it is there are two other members in this investigations club. It's actually Paranormal Investigation Club. You also have... I, I can't say this girl's first name for the life of me. Momoa Okonoki. I'm just going to call her Okonoki. Okonoki. So Okonoki, she can't see Yuko. <laughs> so it's... But she admires Teichi and what he's doing and so on and so forth. And then there's this other character. Her name is Kirie... Kano, and already I kind of don't like her. She's got this attitude problem, and for good reason, because she's the granddaughter of Yuko-san's little sister. And it says that despite her bold behavior, she's easily frightened, and she's able to see Yuko. So she knows everything that's going on between Yuko and Teichi. Alright, moving right along into the episode. It's kind of an interesting first episode to this show because, oh by the way, I urge everyone, ending credits, holy shit, the song is kick ass. I love that song at the ending credits. Awesome, totally awesome. Wait, right, moving right along. We have Okonuki. Did I say your name right? Okonoki. I'll call her Okonoki. Nook. Noog. Okonoki. I'll call her Momoe. You know, Okonoki. She's in the, the room, the, the club, and she's, you know, writing, basically, she's just figuring out, you know, writing the things that she found out, and that's saying that the, most of these things are just, you know, fabrication. We don't see Yuko. We see what she sees. You don't see her yet. 
And basically, what happens is she she's having the is this a poltergeist? You know? she thinks it's a poltergeist there, and she's like, oh, I must be joking, and and she's just ignoring it and saying that I must not have gotten that much sleep. And we move on from there, where she's like, that doll, that was it, that was that was standing up, how did that happen? And then. Keiichi comes into the room and basically is asking her, you know, what have you found out? And while he's talking to her, he's talking to Yuko. So it's like, oh my god, she does she thinks he's crazy. And she thinks she's like like got like a sixth sense. Oh by the way, if you haven't realized, Okonuki, she got the hots for Tenchi. Tenchi. So I don't think to go by on this in this show. Um, so, and he's talking to her, and he, she, he thinks she's psychic and everything. This is crazy. Then the other character shows up in the clubroom, Kyrie. I got a beef with Kyrie. I think she's just a fucking bitch. I was like, but she's such a bitch, such a bitch. Um. But she's basically saying, this is all your fault, you know, Taichi, because Nia, oh, Nia, his last name, um, because of you, you know, uh, so and so forth, and, and basically, they move on from this conversation, because they have a fight, kind of, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then, um, <laughs> so funny, because you go the entire time, and we don't see her, but she's, Doing this to Kyrie, she's putting uh, uh, Taichi's hair up. It's just so ridiculous. And then they go from doing that to decide to go and explore a mystery about this lunch thing. There's an elevator in in the school that 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 moves lunches up and down from the cafeteria, and you know. And it all of a sudden miraculously gets turned on. And she's like, You guys are we witnessing something supernatural. Uh, she's freaking out. Oh my god. Um, you know, Moa Moe. Okanoki Nogi. And um sorry if I mispronounced that name. That's name's hard to say. Um and all of a sudden and while he, she's talking we're going Kid crazy eyed with this situation, and she's telling of another story about a kid to ghost story about a kid who's to who uh, haunts the elevator, and, and she he brings people down to the netherworld. So all of a sudden we see we get a glimpse of Yuki of not Yuki, yeah, 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 <laughs> uh, Yuka, and she. Boom! And then he gets thrown into the, the, the chute, and it goes down. And that's when... And then the Kyrie and the other one go down to try to find him. Go back to the original theory. The original thing that was going on. The original. Beginning at part of the episode. And this time we see Yuko. By the way, this Yuko... You know, she reminds me of... She reminds me of Masaki, Mei Masaki, from another. I shit you not. The only difference is that this girl's got long hair, and Masaki Mei obviously didn't have long hair. She had short hair. She's got red eyes, black hair. She's very, she's hot. She's pretty good looking, you know. She's pretty hot. Yeah, but basically. It happened as as usual, the whole situation. The only difference is we get to see Yuko interact with Teichi and, uh, you know, she's being very flirtatious to him. And she does this, his ears, you know. And then when Kirli shows up, Kirli, obviously, she does not like Yuko. I, I, I'm convinced she does not like her. It's like, you know, but basically, uh, uh, Yuko's punt she's teaching you were just there to to uh get hit on, hit on by the girls. 
fucking ridiculous. And then, and it obviously, it basically, basically the same events happen except you see Yuko and she's saying these different things. And she's doing like this. You should smile once in a while. <laughs> and then they obviously go to the, the, the situation. And then Yuko, oh my god, she's so fucking jealous. She wants him by all to herself. And that's when the scene happens. And she's like, oh, she's very angry. And then all of a sudden, she kicks him in the fucking back. And pushes him into the fucking chute. And his head hit. And they go downstairs. And it obviously, Carrie can see her, so she tells her, we gotta go, let's go get him, you know. And that's when we have this conversation between Taichi and uh, Yuko, and he asks her, oh, you're the one responsible for these different things. He says, yeah, and she's basically telling him that, she's saying that you're the only one who can touch me. Because most people see right through her. You know, and she said she basically saying he yes, asks her about the netherworld and stuff, but she says, "Oh, that's nothing. I'm not responsible for that." Um, and she says that um, you're the only one who could touch me because all people see is just see right through her, and all she understands is happiness. And he touches her and grabs her. Or boobies. <laughs> and uh, that's when they come out of the thing. And she says, I didn't do anything. And then uh, Kirley says, pervert. And Kirley, man, I don't like her. She's just, just a bitch. She's a bitch. Episode one already. And uh, I'm looking at her and she's like, a fucking bitch. And then as they're walking around in the school, Okanuki can't say that name. Ok no, no, no. Nogi, Okanogi, Okanogi, um, says of another story involving Yuko, ghost story, saying that there was, um, and, and she was saying that, that she has more involved with these stories, uh, ghost stories, than, you know, and Kirie, was when they were walking, she says, oh, an evil ghost is, is following uh, Nia around and causing him misfortune. And Yuko was like, mm, tongue at her. And what Okanuki was saying was, was that, to, but then he was dismissing it. Teichi, he's saying, oh, that, that, that's not true. She's not involved in all of them. And then she says, I do remember one story of her grave. There's a, there's a, and what they do is they go on this hill, and already you see Kiri, and she's got these evil looks towards Yuko. I'm like, ah, man, that's crazy. They go to this grave, Yuko's grave, but it's not actually her grave. She says this is the first time she's been here. It's actually, I don't know what it is. It seems to be, they find a bell or something, and what happens is, Yuko pushes the grave off, and Okanuki's like, ah! She's freaking out and she leaves. And then Kirley runs after her. And, um. It's crazy. And then she tells Teichi, I want to show you something. Yuko shows him the view of the, the campus and the sun, sun and everything. It's a really beautiful scene. I, I think I've fallen in love with this Yuko character. And, and I mean it. I mean, like. Wow, you know, and that's what happened. And the episode ends with with um, him picking up this bell, and that's how it ended. Um, this show is great. I love love the animation. The animation is godly. Remember, these people they didn't have a huge role in another the animation company, but they had a role in making. Um, in making, um, damn it, I forgot, I was going to say, had a role in making another, with the animation. So, yeah, wow, 14 minutes. This is a good show, I think everyone should check it out. Um, 
get to it, my friends. It is definitely worth the watch. No question worth the watch. Um, I'm going to give this one, for the time being, a 3 out of 5. But I want to see more. Go check this out. Beautiful animation. Great story. Ghosts. Can't get any better than that. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I get better reviews and more of these. For this. <laughs> and I did Rear Nikki. Um, but I like this show. This Dust Maiden is great. Go check it out. It's been Bonkai 902. See you guys later.